Zanna with you. It's a rare poet, you know what I mean? Want to come kick it with the people for a couple seconds and build about some things pertaining to success. Now, I'm going to make a few videos um, pinpointing ideas I have pertaining to success, um, to being successful, to doing successful things and having successful thoughts. You know what I mean? Success don't just mean having a lot of money and, and being rich. Success just mean like um, executing your ideas and completing your goals. You know what I mean? That's a successful individual. A successful individual completes. He has an idea. He pushes for it. You know what I mean? And he makes it manifest. That's successful. You know what I mean? A person that, you know what I mean? What they say they stand for, they stand for. You know what I mean? You, you, you're successful in what you say you're about and what you do. You know what I mean? And also, when you want to accumulate a certain amount of money, you know what I mean? You go for it. You feel me? If you die, you didn't touch that top dollar, but you you got close to that dollar, you successful because you deal with a lot of people who don't even have the willpower to do or to complete. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just want to build on a couple of things pertaining to success because I feel personally, you know what I mean? I succeeded in changing my life. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I would say on the basis of maturity. You know what I mean? I, I went through a lot of uh, uh, things that forced me to realize what it really means to be a mature individual, a mature man, a mature, a mature homie, a mature brother, you feel me, a mature son, you know what I mean, and a mature black man, you know what I mean, all in one, all together. So more or less, like, it's, it's, I went through stage step stages and degrees, and I mean, and I, I feel like I became successful in that area, whereas I take the more mature route than what I would take. You feel me? That's on a small, small molecular level. You feel me? Um, there's many other things that I've done pertaining to success, but I just want to give that first episode so people don't think, or want to overthink the concept of, of success. You feel me? It should be just as simple as going from one stage to the next stage. You, su you succeeded in that transition, because that transition, a lot of people don't make it through that little transition. They get stuck. You feel what I'm saying? And I got an example of that uh, recently, just macking with the homies. I mean, just kicking it with the homies, whatever, you feel what I'm saying? And it's like, let's listen to their thoughts and their mindsets and, 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 and viewing like how they want to move forward or certain things like that. Or when you say certain things, their response to it, it shows how stuck a lot of us is. And we didn't, we, 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 we were succeeding. We got to that transition part where that's where the pain is at. You know what I mean? That's where you got to deal with and accept certain things about yourself. You know what I mean? To know what you is and what you ain't is, what you about and what you ain't about. You feel what I'm saying? And they stop because they got to continuously try to prove themselves to be something that they're probably not or something that they probably can't be based off of the fact they don't have the willpower to succeed in that area. So they get stuck in the transition area. They never succeed to the next level. You know what I mean? But I love my bros regardless. I don't care if you stuck. I don't care if you whatever. As long as you ain't no rat. You know what I mean? As long as you ain't no pedophile, as long as you ain't no rapist, you know what I mean? I love my brothers to the death. You feel what I'm saying? That's a that's 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 a fact. You know what I mean? But neither here nor there success. So one thing I'm gonna speak about success I mean when I speak to, I speak to the brothers in the hood. So those outside of that, if you listening to, I appreciate your your listening ear and your willingness to hear. You know what I mean? Listen to a brother speak. You know what I mean? Just speak, you know what I mean? So more or less like I speak to the bros in the trenches, like, you feel me? Got out of jail, you know what I mean? Um, got out of jail, you feel me? In halfway houses, in the streets. Those that probably ain't, ain't behind the bing, they've been in on the battlefield, you feel me? Doing what to do, living that life, whatever. I'm speaking to y'all, like, you know what I mean? If I could build with anybody, that's true, I want to build with. I want to build with the bros, I want to build with the homies, I want to build with the, you know what I'm saying, the shooters and motherfuckers getting money, the motherfuckers out there living that life. I want to build with you. You feel what I'm saying? Like back in the day when you used to be in the back of the back of the house, everybody blowing down the valley to smoke, whatever, and we kicking it and building and speaking on some old other shit. Like, you feel me? I want to bring that. You know what I'm saying? I want to kick it on that. I don't know what y'all do now when y'all pop pills. I don't know if y'all able to kick it like we did back then. We were just smoking bug. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't do all that. You know what I mean? But that's who I speak to. Like, you know what I mean? Because them the brothers, 
that held me down in the trenches, that was there for me, still there for me now, and I'm there for you too. You feel me? Success for me also is no matter what I do, make sure I could do it with my homies. If I can't do that with my homies, I don't feel successful for myself. I don't care what nobody else's definition or how they view or how they say it should be. I don't feel successful within myself. You know what I mean? Because I couldn't bring my homies along, I couldn't do it with my homies. My homies meeting my family members, you feel me? And my dogs from the streets and all that. You feel what I'm saying? All that that encompass that, encompass that from, from all all over because I don't live in many different places and been through many different situations. You feel me? But more or less, I'm not gonna make this too long. This is like an introduction of what I'm finna be speaking about and breaking down. I'm gonna start off with the concept of credit. Speaking to the bros out there, starting with the concept of credit. You feel me? So that right there, we all need to get put up on and, and need to take advantage of. You feel me? If you choose to go a certain route, you know what I mean? And to be successful in that, you have to know how to play the game. The game is to not need credit. You feel what I'm saying? And you gotta know how to use it. You feel me? And you take advantage of these opportunities so you can fund whatever you need to do and whatever you're trying to do or wherever you're trying to go. You know what I mean? So we finna build on that. That's what we're gonna start on speaking on. You know what I mean? And um I salute y'all man. I love y'all. Us never them. You heard? We got to make it, you know what I mean? Black Wall Street was a reality and still is a reality. You feel me? Just because you banging the set, you feel me, or you out there in the neighborhood doing what it do, that don't mean you can't be the definition of success. You feel me? I want to see a whole bunch of successful homies. You feel me? All day, I'm pro-organization. I'm pro-group. Pro-organization, pro-group. I'm just anti-oppression. All day, every day. Twist your fingers, throw it up, do your thing on me. Don't feel ashamed of nothing. You feel me? I'm not saying be okay with the bullshit. I'm saying don't be ashamed of the culture that we created. You feel me? We created as a people. You know what I mean? Whether it was the beginning in the West or whether it began through the lingua of the brothers in Vietnam. You feel what I'm saying? However you want to put it. You feel me? Well, that's just what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck with how you want to put it. But more or less, like, you feel me? It spread and, and, and it blew up as a cultural... Uh, and became a, 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 a braided its own culture in different regions. You feel me? So that had a successful, added with with the negative. You know what I'm saying? But had a successful expansion, whereas it took over the hoods in America. You feel me? And to me, say there's opportunity in chaos. So to me, speaking on the aspect of the opportunity within the chaos, that shit is beautiful. It's beautiful because it's so that shows so much how much we can do, how much we can make shit happen like that overnight. Every city, every town got something that started all the way over there, over here, over here, over here, over here. This one just like it, this one just like it, this one don't think it should be there. This one think that I overstand. And you got you got you got valid points. But at the end of the day, look at the success of something of one person's mind or a group of people's mind that can really explode. What that say about us as a people? Just think about that on that level. Be successful, man. Go for success, man. Us never them, man. Big B's to the homies. You already know we out here. To every set out there and every group out there, every homie out there, man, stand up, man. Stay organized. You feel me? Structured and organized. You feel me? You already know. Pro-group anti-oppression. That's your homie. Bark at me.